video game phoenix here and um, I thought I'd do a tutorial for New Super Mario Bros. Editor 5.2 so once you download it um, you click on it but you have to download the New Super Mario Bros. ROM first and I suggest you have a backup, see I have two copies and I renamed one just so you know just in case something bad happens and I can just copy the ROM again so you go and open up your ROM and you'll see you'll see You'll see six tabs, and the first one's level listing, then tile sets, backgrounds, the file browser, which don't mess around with, otherwise you'll completely mess up the game, tools and options, that's just for exporting um, patches, and this is just the about. Um, yeah, so it's build 5.2, build 366, and uh, yeah, so uh, check out this site. I do recommend it. So, what you want to do is you can just click on these little icons here to view everything. So this is the first one. Then you have three areas. Levels are divided into areas. So areas one is where you start. Area two and three are sub areas, which you can get to by entrances, which I'll explain later. So you click on it, and uh, you can click on edit level, and then there's hexadecimal edit. So this is your first tile set, um, which is um, the Jotu tile set. This is the tile set that's loaded, the grassland one. And this one's the one that's loaded at every level, it's the finish line one, so like when you get the little castle thingy. So you have the view, which is where the camera can go. And if I turn on the grid, so these are all the tile spaces. So, and then you get tabs up here, paths, uh, nodes, entrances, sprites, views, zones, tile sets, and graphics. So you can tick the little boxes for, for making it wrap around on the left or right, force Mini Mario Star or Mini Mario Physics, the time limit, the star entrance, the mid re entrance, and the sound set. Um, so you can just like right click and uh, add sprites. I won't show you on this one, I'll I'll do on another one, but this is this is the first level. So basically uh, a zone is just like, so this is basically where Mega Mario has an increased chance of getting Goombas like here. 198 which, wait what's, oh no that's the top limit, so you're not allowed to go further top than that otherwise you'll see this, so it's like a secret area. Uh, and uh, Go away. So that's that's where you come in. So this is like an entrance. So what you do is you have to click add entrance and stuff, and you get the uh, pipe, and you have to set it basically. So this one, this one goes to. So you have to have an ID for it because if you have two that are the same ID, then it kind of messes up. Because when I was first making this level, I tested this out on a proper DS, and it just took me all the way back to the start because I didn't have the entrance pro config proper config yeah, configured properly. So the destination area is 3, so you're going to close it and head to area 3. Area 2 is unedited. Um, this is area 3. I used a um, an unused bonus room tile set which looks like Super Mario World. And uh, this is it. Yeah, did I? Yeah. So have a sprite you go to the sprite tab now if you see you see the ones in red these are the ones you can't have Oop. so you have to go to graphics and then sprite sets um, the overworld enemies are always spawned but all these other ones so you can either for for example for this one you can either have enemy and pipe generator or desert enemies or castle enemies so you can't have like pipe generator enemies and desert enemies in the same one you can't have piranha plants and wiggler Thing with the caterpillars in the same one, and so on. Flag and line platforms. You see, um, there's no the flag isn't loaded for this one because the flag isn't in this part of the level. For the star coin, that's a sprite. And you have to set which number it is, otherwise it messes up. And you can set it for going half a tile right or half a tile down. 
You know, you can make it go behind a fence, but that's if you have like a, a fence thingy. No, I don't want to save. So, yeah. This is this the, this one doesn't have any areas because it doesn't have any like secret sub areas. But this one's really glitchy, so I've been trying to fix it. But I'll show you that later, like maybe in one of my other things. So this is the one I've been working on. Uh, like I said in my last video, if you haven't watched it, then go watch it. So this is a this is the original E3 base uh, tile set that they were going to use. I downloaded it. Um, I don't know if, uh, well, it's, uh, it's on the, uh, new Super Mario Brothers Hacking Domain website. So this is a pipe maze, and you can see there's lots of node thingies. Well, I'll show you how to do one now, because I need to, um, yeah, let's see. Wait, yeah. So, for example, I'm going to... Add a pipe, connected pipe, so when you go down it's going to follow you all the way around until you get to here. Because when you think you're going to go down the yellow pipe, you think you're going to go there, but you're not. You're going to go up there. And you're going to think to yourself, oh my god, I'm a stupid idiot. But there would be a secret way to go down. Like this one, this is an exit only, so you can't... So for example, this is a pipe. And I can just, like, change how far along it is and like big how just by doing that and there's there's all these buttons at the top like delete paste copy cut view mini map you don't that just gives you a little mini map here which you don't need because there's one down here anyways undo redo uh, zoom find edit tile set and lower to bottom very useful raise to top very useful so you can raise items to the top and bottom. So I'm just going to enable the grid. You can enable a uh, DS size screen with this little screen button here. I don't know if you can see there's like a little blue thing around my mouse. So that's basically the size of a DS screen. This will follow Mario wherever wherever the hell he wants to go. Or wherever, wherever the hell you make him go. So I think I think I'll get rid of this. Control C V. So low to bottom. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll just do some stuff here, and I'll be back in a little bit. In the end, I decided just to go for this. So, I'm not exactly sure what to do here, but I have an idea, I think. I'll just I'll just run you through everything then. Um, so to add an entrance, you click add entrance. Um, hold on a second. I'm just do some. I'll just do some editing and then I'll be back in a second. Okay. So I added a pipe up here. Just a random pipe. I think I'll just get rid of that. So I found an opportunity. Oh. Yeah, the, the delete button comes in very handy. You just click on something, press delete, and you'll delete it. Um, so I found an opportunity, so you go to the sprite tab. And you can select from everything. Event controllers, I'll get in maybe in a, another tutorial. Uncategorized. 
I'll just go. So there's a little search bar as well, which I find very handy. Yeah. So I like to use the search bar a lot. Um, sorry that if you saw the video jump a little, I ran out of recording time with dumb, stupid bandy cam. Because I'm not going to pay for it. It's just a waste of money. But anyways, so, yeah, the search bar comes in useful. So you right click to have a sprite. And then, so this these are nibbles. And by messing around with the, it's like, raw sprite data. So messing around with the numbers like 1, you can make it do different things. And it goes red because you always have to have like 12, or is it 10? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 12 digits there. So Mario's going to be in front of this one. So you have drop down options. So you can have it face down and right. But I'm going to have this one facing up. Um, you may notice it looks a little like the underground tile set, but that's because the background's um, loaded onto an underground one. So graphics, unknown. So I haven't had the chance to change the background. Grassland. This is one of my own backgrounds, Grassland Hills at Sunset. I made on paint and I use the website Pixlr. Very good, it's free, it's like Photoshop, but it's free. And it's really, really good. Volcanoes 3. That was unused. So Bushes at night, that's just like a burn. I use Pixlr to burn it a little so it looks like it's dark. Um, so bushes at night. Yeah, because I didn't, I didn't really decide to sort of do anything else to light the backgrounds. You can see there's lots of empty ones here. But um you need you need um the f um editor version 5.1 which I tried to download but then my annoying antivirus software got rid of it because it thought it was a threat threat. So I don't know if it was but that's out of, that's out of the window so I'm going to have to try and get another background. The only problem is, I tried to override the stalagmites one, which is unused, but it scrambled one of the cave backgrounds. So what I usually do is, oh, well, is, um, yeah, that was just my outtakes, because it uh, took me a long time to actually get used to the camera. No, not the camera, just saying stuff. But, no, it's not local disk, it's desktop. So, I usually save a copy of all the backgrounds that I try and get rid of. Well, override. You see, you know, the reason I saved all of these ones is because I got these from the original ROM. They weren't used. And then I tried to override the sunset one from one of these. But instead, it was like, because these ones move, it was like a moving background, so it looked kind of weird, because it was just like, kind of moving across, scrolling across the screen. This is the one I wanted to override, but then it scrambled, scrambled the cave background, which was like this, except blue. This was an unused background. There's two volcanoes, which was supposed to go with the Volcanoes 3 background I showed you. Um... Yeah, but basically the pa the color palettes got all messed up on these backgrounds, so all of them look really weird now. But um, this is the sunset one. You've already seen that one. I'll show you. I'll show you the one that 
is going to be for the level I was editing. It's this one. Um, I use the burn tool, and uh, it's a lovely starry night, which is nice. Um, so, um, yeah, hold on a second. I'll um, I'll be back in a sec. Hello again. It's been ages. Um, can't even remember where I was now because I was gone for such a long time. Uh, what's this? Oh, yeah. Oh. No. Um. So I'll just put it as uh, the closest thing to it, which is this one, I think. No, that's a broken one. So, um, yeah, I can, uh, so let's see tiles, so you can choose if you just hover over each tile it'll give you a description what it is. So we'll put tomorrow is about two blocks high I think. So let's go and put some let's go put some sprites in. So we'll put a We'll put a um, Goomba in. Put two Goombas in. And um, so let's see. Just to recap. So nodes. Wait. Yeah. So basically, for a node. It's like where where do you want the path to go? So hold on a second. No, these aren't mixed up. Um hold on a second, I'm a little brain dead at the moment. Okay, um I think what I'll do is I'll stop recording here. Just because I'm running out of time. But Next time, I guess I'll do my next tutorial, which will just be on nodes and other complicating stuff. So I'll see you later. Sorry, I paused it there. I'll see you later now.